What's up everybody? This is Brad with Tough Tour Reviews. I want to give you a five minute fix on the linesman pliers I actually use at work. That's right. This is not a Harbor Freight linesman plier like you saw in the other video. This is the one I actually take to work to me every day. I'm an industrial electrician. And most people would think, oh man, I, I've seen tons of clients. Nope, I didn't go with clients. I wanted to try something different. I actually got these channel lock linesmen. Now, a lot of people don't really know or think about channel lock when they think about linesmen pliers, but man, that's why I'm making this video because they need to rethink that. These are some badass <coughs> linesmen pliers. They are the 10 inch, and I will pop up a picture, and they're actually about 10 and a half inch. Normally the nine and a half inch are right at ten inch. Nine and a half or ten and a half inch lines with pliers. You're saying, man, why do you want lines with pliers? Nine and a half inches. Well, I'm six foot three, about two thirty. I got fairly big hands, and in the industrial environment, we mess with some big ass wire. That being said, also, we don't really use linesmen that much. Yes, we do use them, but it's not like a residential thing where I need them to twist wire. I mean, you're not twisting the wire we use. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do deal with some smaller stuff, so that's why we have them. And you're an electrician, so it's always nice to have linesmen. They come in handy, but it's not nowhere near like commercial or residential where you're doing receptacles or switches and stuff like that. We're dealing with motors with, you know... 8 gauge wires, probably the smallest stuff we deal with when we're dealing with our motors. So that's why I went with the big dogs. These things are a beast. Uh, I think they're around 30 bucks. I don't know the item number offhand. I'll pop up a picture while I'm talking about them. Uh, th I've had them for probably 8 months now. Uh, damn near right. When I got them, I loved them. They do have a crimper as well. You can get the nine and a half inch pair with the crimper. You can also get the nine and a half inch pair without the crimper and with the fish tape puller, which Sparky Channel rated them really great. Again, industrial electrician, don't use a fish tape very often. Also because I'm on the maintenance side, not the construction side. Uh, so I use a crimper more than anything. But let's just take a look at them with Romex. I mean, there's absolutely nothing to it uh, the, the, the big thing about channel lock I'm gonna have to disagree with mr. Mike and his tool shed he likes climb because they have that a bigger rivet man this rivet does just fine they say they moved it up closer for more leverage whether it is or not I don't know but I know for Romex it's it's I mean, I'm putting minimal, to, if any, effort into it. Uh, just to give you an idea, this right here is about the size of a nail you would hang a picture frame with. This would be just normal work around the house. I know it'll go through the picture frame one. Let's try this one. We'll go up nice and close. Get her in there. Oh man, I didn't even have to move my hand back. That was so easy. Alright, let's move on to the big daddy. I'd say this is close to 16 penny, but not quite. Oh man, lifetime warranty, right? And it actually cut it. I wasn't sure about that. So, channel lock 10 inch ply lines with pliers, badass <coughs> pliers. Go out and get them, they're around 30 bucks. If you haven't already, like my like this video if you like it. Thumbs it down if you want to. Subscribe to my channel to get more quick reviews and also some how-to videos. Go to my page, check out the other ones, see if you like it. Hit that bell right below next to the subscription thing to get notified anytime I put out a video. And if you're not sure, there's a Marcos Tools go giveaway going on right now. Go to my hashtag Marcos Tool giveaway for details on that and how to enter. Also visit Jeff Parker's page. 
And uh, that's it, guys. Hopefully I got done in five minutes. Let's see. Ah, shit, I'm over. Peace.